Hi, my name is Eleanor Vani. I'm the author of two books, When I Was Elena, a memoir of the years I lived in Guatemala at the end of the Civil War there, and Landfall, a work of historical fiction set in the wake of Hurricane Katrina. I'm making this video because I was inspired by the ideas and efforts of a 16-year-old girl named Emma Manhow, who's conceived of a way to marry two business models I wholeheartedly support, the rewarding of positivity instead of negativity on the internet, and the funding of charitable causes by multinational companies. To launch her concept, she's conceived of a crowdfunding source that connects everyday people with those they most admire. I'm honored to have been invited to participate, and I get to invite two people I respect and admire to do the same. The first person I invite is Nicholas Kristoff. Nicholas is a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist, an author, and an op-ed columnist for the New York Times. Though we've not met personally, we share a number of friends and also a love of Oregon. Nicholas's hometown sits not far from this farm I live on in the Willamette Valley. A few years back, I also had the privilege of reviewing his best-selling book that he co-authored with his wife, titled Half the Sky, Turning Oppression into Opportunity for Women Worldwide. I wrote, with no hyperbole whatsoever, that Half the Sky may very well be the literary equivalent of Mahatma Gandhi's 1930 Salt Satyagraha, or Martin Luther King's 1965 Selma to Montgomery marches, wherein peaceful means spotlighted, then helped shatter injustices that had been historically tolerated. As a former Peace Corps volunteer, I am awed by the fearless way in which Nicholas Kristof has turned his skills and attention toward the plight of those less privileged than he, particularly women and girls, which is why I think he may be intrigued by and willing to support 16-year-old Emma's plan. I extend my second invitation to screenwriter, producer, and record-setting film director Steven Spielberg. I've loved the blockbuster films he's directed as much as the next person. In fact, I remember being so moved at the end of E.T., which I watched on screen for the first time as a middle school student, that I sobbed until I hyperventilated and the usher had to escort me out of the theater. But it is Stephen's courage in crafting films that focus on issues of human justice and social accountability that earns him my deepest respect. 20 years after he won the Directors Guild of America Award for Outstanding Director for The Color Purple, I received a letter from Alice Walker, who authored the book on which Stephen's film was based. She wrote to me after reading my first book, and ended that initial correspondence with a statement that has inspired and vexed me in equal measure for the rest of my life. We are always on our way to a changing destination, she said. I believe that truism, full of hope and of challenge, is manifest so bountifully in Steven Spielberg's films on both a personal and cultural level. Films like Schindler's List and Amistad and Munich not only document turning points in history, but prod us to evolve as humans and as cultures which is precisely what Emma's asking us to use our celebrity to help her do. With respect for their moral courage, their creative skills, and their intellectual prowess, I humbly thank Nicholas Kristoff and Steven Spielberg for accepting this invitation to help a young girl impact the world in a positive